Father, thank you once again for just the celebration of Patrick and Amy and their new life together. And this is a, a party that we know that, that heaven rejoices in as well. And so thank you, Lord, for the food. We ask you to bless it and the hands that prepared it. Bless all the, the staff of Bauer House, Lord. We're grateful for them making this a special and memorable evening. And uh, bless our time of fellowship around these tables in Jesus' name. Too much longer, will it? <laughs> yeah. We're thankful for all you've given us, dear God, and this fine girl. <laughs> and for the boy that's coming her way. <laughs> Answer to her prayer. Right. Yep. I told him that after church tomorrow, we can change the oil in the mic. <laughs> and if it's hot enough, maybe we can go cut some weeds. <laughs> go by in the blink of an eye, but I wouldn't want to spend it without you by my side. The clouds are gonna roll, the earth's gonna shake, but I'll be a shelter through the wind and the rain, and we'll build this love from the ground up, now till forever it's all of me. Just take my hand And I'll be the man Your dad hoped that I'd be And we'll build this <laughs> Hi! How are you? Oh God. You're so beautiful <laughs> Thank you You look good too <laughs> You look I love you too You look good <laughs> I'm not allowed to kiss me. I don't know. Probably not. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for bringing us here safely. Thank you for how you've had your hand in every step of this. Thank you for just the way that you've made Amy. It's how perfect that she is for me. How perfect we are for each other. God, this is just such an amazing blessing. <laughs>
Patrick and Amy, I want to encourage you to take just a minute to soak in this moment. Months and years from now, this day might become kind of fuzzy. It might become a blur. So take just a moment to turn and face those who are gathered here, all these people who love you, and take a snapshot in your mind, soaking up this moment as a loving memory for the rest of your lives. Today, our prayer for you, Patrick and Amy, is that for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part, you may know the power of a promise kept. And may God, who has made an everlasting covenant with us, give you the strength to keep your promise, not just for today, but for a lifetime. As you move forward from today in your marriage relationship, there are a few fundamental needs that you both will continue to have in your marriage for the remainder of your lives. Number one is security. You both have the basic need to feel secure, safe, and protected. Trust is a major component of this sense of security. So the most important thing you can do to build relational and financial security is to always be truthful with one another all the time. The second is conversational companionship, just talking to each other. I want to encourage you to reserve time for one another to keep your relationship fresh. It's inevitable in marriage that distance creeps into the relationship because of the busyness and demands of life. So be intentional about connecting with each other through meaningful conversation and continue to dream together. Number three, significance. Both of you have a need to feel respected and appreciated for the roles that you will fill in your marriage. You want to know that what you do counts, that it matters. Be sure to affirm one another regularly in the roles that you fill. Number four, affection. This is a need that Amy as the wife will especially need. She needs to feel treasured and valuable. Affection can be expressed both verbally and through touch. So commit to express affection to one another daily. And finally, physical intimacy. And this is where everybody goes, is he really gonna talk about this in the <laughs> wedding? Well, my wife and I have a friend who likes to say, the devil does everything he can to get a couple into bed before their wedding day and everything to keep them out of bed after the wedding day. God has designed marriage as the designated relationship in which a man and woman are to enjoy physical intimacy with one another. So take the time and effort to invest emotional energy into your physical relationship. Well, Patrick and Amy, you have come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands. You have made the promises of faith and devotion each to the other and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, by the virtue vested in me by the state of Indiana and as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Amen. Patrick, you may kiss your bride. I've known her is that love is a choice it is not a feeling it is an action it's something you choose every day six billion people in the world six billion souls and sometimes all you need is one so to the newlyweds I'm glad you've each found your one Grab